Ruby and Randall are enjoying their new home. Kitchen. But it wasn't too long ago when Ruby and Randall were facing hard times. Years of substance abuse took a toll on their lives. Soon they would be facing unemployment and then homelessness. In the beginning, it was really hard. A lot of we came from a lot of trials and tribulation. You know, her and I met in our addiction, which brought, a, brought its own catastrophes of itself, you know. So this is our old room, 108. This is the room that we used to be in. Yeah, so where we came to you know, get a roof over our head from homelessness, and this is basically where it all began. Looking for a fresh start and some hope, they came to the Booth Family Center right here in Grass Valley. I'd say they gave us a foundation. You know, they gave us a chance to move forward with our lives. You know, coming from homelessness, it's hard to, to move forward. You know, there's not a lot of opportunities. You know, it's hard to maintain a job and, and support your family when you're, you don't have anywhere to stay. So, you know, at the Booth Center, they gave us the opportunity to, you know, to put some roots down, to give us structure in what we were doing. Randall and, and Ruby both had a willingness to them. They may have been down on their luck, they may have been, had given in to their addictions, which was a sad thing, but they were willing to step out of that. They were desirous to step out. And the best time the Salvation Army works is with just a little bit of willingness. Their determination has led them to a life of sobriety and happiness. And now both Ruby and Randall are currently working for the place that gave them hope, the Salvation Army Grass Valley Corps. I just appreciate the Salvation Army in every aspect. I mean, they they help people all the time. I see how they touch families and lives. I see it with my own eyes. I've not only lived it, but I see it every day when I go work. We, Ruby and I are stronger than ever in our relationship, stronger than ever in our relationship with God. You know, we're active parents. You know, we were just talking yesterday that we were happy that, you know, her and I didn't really have a family atmosphere growing up, you know, where we did things, a lot of things together as families. And, um, you know, so we're able to raise our kids together in a two-parent home where we go to school events, field trips, and it's just, it's great to be a part of our kids' life. Life right now, I would say, is to describe it as bliss.